Hello everybody and welcome to a new view. I'm May Sam and today I'm going to tell you about the biggest human gathering in history, Albania. In a world that we are living among people that getting is the biggest goal for most people. Getting money, earning money, gaining you know, profit, and where people are all looking for uh, earning more, ways to do better marketing. In this world, every year, millions of people gather together uh, on the anniversary of 40 days after the martyr martyrdom of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him and his followers, and uh, people gather on a road and walk the, the path, the road between uh, the city of Najaf in Iraq to the city of Kamala, commemorating the anniversary of 40 days after the martyrdom of Imam Hussein and his great followers. And in doing this walk, people demonstrate some of the most interesting, some of the greatest human interactions that throughout history, a lot of philanthropists have, have just uh, dreamed about what happened. Today I'm going to tell you some examples of this great gathering. Please be with me. World's biggest pilgrimage now underway. And why you've never heard of it? More than 20 million pilgrims of all age groups from around the world without even the most basic amenities or travel gear. Peaceful walk for visit of Imam Hussein and his brother Abbas. For the biggest annual gathering. It takes a full two weeks to complete the walk. 20 million people walk over a hundred kilometers in the desert. children, women, the elders, and even disabled ones. Different nationalities, African, American, everyone sits at the same table, everyone is equal here, a community and human unity to westness of the world. Here all the needs of the pilgrims are provided. Everything on this 400 mile route is free for Hussein pilgrims. Over 700 million meals for the duration of the pilgrimage for two weeks walking. And the world's largest number of people fed for free. Hus of all cities and villages including poor and rich Despite the road and the car on the way to pilgrimage, pilgrims walk the whole route. There must be a mystery behind this willingness. Who is the one whose shrine is so loved after 1,400 years? What motivates people to do so? Who is Hussein? The answer lies in the intention of each pilgrim. You will find the answer if you search for Arbain pilgrimage. Hussein is the embodiment of standing up to oppression. Giving and learning to give. In Arbain, those who walk the path will have absolutely no need 
for life necessities whatsoever. Everything from food, from shelter, clothes, comfort, uh, body massage, and even medical health is provided absolutely for free. And people who donate what they have, they make you like what you are receiving. Donating is, in definition, by definition, donating is a beautiful way of giving or giving in a beautiful way, in a way that both the donor and the person who received the donation feel the uh, unforgettable, pleasant taste of this interaction. For example, when uh, a father or a parent uh, tries to give a vaccine shot to their child, the child, although they're receiving something necessary for their health, do not enjoy this. They just feel the pain. So receiving help is not always um, you know, uh, sweet, but in donating, uh, the receiver feels this sweet um, action in Arba'in Wahi, because everybody is gathered for one purpose and one purpose only, and that is the love of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. Uh, both the hosts, um, their Araki people, and those who receive these uh, helps and services that come from around the world, they feel this beautiful taste of uh, this beautiful interaction. Uh, besides, in Arabian world, you learn the act of donating. Besides receiving the help and all the services in this great path, you experience the beauty of it, you come to like it, and because it is repeated in a kind of like five, six day walk, you learn how to do it and do it yourself. And one of, this is one another a great thing that happens in Arba'i Walk. Arba'i Walk is a path of balance. In a world that balance is long forgotten, in a world that uh, you cannot gather thousands of people without problems, without unpleasant accidents. Look at uh, football matches or different festivals. Um, accidents happen to them. In this world, millions of people from different races and different nationalities, tribes and skin colors and ideas, they gather together, walk the path, the path and uh, you can feel and experience the balance between a great action and harmony and discipline at the same time. An action that is run and done and managed all by ordinary people. Uh, Arba'in walk is a path of togetherness in a world that individualism is perfectly, is completely promoted in a world that people prefer to live alone rather than working with others. Um, in Arabic book, you see mukebs in Arabic, which, which are uh, stations that are providing services to others, food and stuff. These stations are all managed, run, controlled, and supported by ordinary people, teams of people, groups of people work together to handle the uh, mukebs. Um, all you see is one. Even the outfits, the clothes, the, the, the color of the clothes, they just lead people into teamwork and togetherness. Uh, a path against racism, nation, uh, nationalism, and tribalism, uh, Arba'in Bok, is a place that you can see um, in a world that um, in contrast with the world that your skin color, nationality, family even defines who you are in the world, um, when in any field you are, um, it, it makes a difference what color of face you are, or what language you speak, what nationality you are. In uh, al Walk, world, none of these are, um, none of these ever matter. Um, people who give you food, people who give you help, they just give it with a smile. They never ask you where you are from, 
uh, they never consider your skin color, uh, language, or accent. They don't even ask you about what religion you believe in. The only thing is the love of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. And when you share this, you will receive help from in, in any different forms. All people of all races, nationalities, and beliefs are welcome to participate in this great effect, event. In the end, in Arba'in world, there is nothing but the love of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. And those who share this love will receive help and everything. ID cards, uh, different kinds of money, currencies, um, uh, documents like this, they don't matter in this world. There's only one thing, and that is the love of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. What you see in this path is actions. What you see is the uh, show of affection and not words. Thank you very much for watching us. If you haven't subscribed or liked us, please do. And we will, I will promise you that we will show you more and more beauties of this great Hindu gathering in the future. Thank you very much. And